Have you ever heard about supertherapeutic dosing? It's a medical approach of using higher than normal doses of medication, especially in those dealing with tough to treat depression. But what exactly does that mean? And is it safe? Let's dive into what this method is all about and whether it might be the key for some people to get better. Hi, my name is Matthias Hartman. I'm a board certified psychiatric physician assistant and I make videos on how to improve your mood. Super therapeutic dosing is where psychiatric providers prescribe medication at higher doses than what's typically recommended. Think of it as turning up the oven temperature when the bread isn't getting cooked enough. This approach is sometimes used when the standard doses aren't providing enough relief, especially for people with what's known as treatment-resistant depression, also known as difficult-to-treat depression. This is when regular treatments don't work as expected. The goal is to boost the medication's effect when usual doses don't seem to do the job. It's important to note, though, that this isn't done casually. It requires close monitoring from your psychiatric provider to help keep an eye on side effects since higher doses increase those risks. So do higher than normal doses actually work for depression? A 2016 meta-analysis by Akulbowski and colleagues did show that there was a dose response with antidepressants in major depressive disorder, meaning as you increase the dose, the medicine works better. But they also found that the benefits of increasing the dose plateaued at about 50 milligrams of Prozac, also known as fluoxetine, equivalent. But it's not quite that simple because no two person's bodies work the same. For example, Prozac, also known as fluoxetine, is metabolized in the liver by CYP2D6. Some people's bodies are hyper metabolizers of this CYP2D6 enzyme. This means that their body will break down medicines that are CYP 2D6 substrates like Prozac really fast. When a medicine is broken down too fast, that causes less of it to be in the body. If there's too little of the medicine in the body, then it's like taking a really small dose. It's not gonna work. Zoloft on the other hand, also known as sertraline, is metabolized mainly by CYP 2C19, which is a different enzyme. So using the same example of the person that is a hyper metabolizer for CYP2D6. For that person, even if they are at the usual max dose of 80 milligrams of Prozac, the medicine might not be working for their depression because they don't actually have 80 milligrams worth of Prozac in their body. They actually have a lot less in their body because they break down the medicine so fast. So what can you do for someone like this? Well, there are a few options. Option number one is switch. Stop taking the fluoxetine and switch to a medicine that isn't metabolized by CYP2D6. For example, you could switch to Zoloft. Option number two is to add another medicine to augment the effects of Prozac. Two examples might be to add Abilify or T3, which is a thyroid hormone. And option three, which is what this video is about, might be to increase the dose of Prozac. Something important to do before increasing the dose into a supra therapeutic range might be to get a blood level of the medication to see if there actually isn't enough medicine in the body. For Prozac specifically, that would look like getting a blood level of fluoxetine plus norfluoxetine, which is what fluoxetine is metabolized into in the body. The reference range is between 120 to 500 nanograms per milliliter. So if you're taking 80 milligrams of Prozac daily and your blood level comes back low, then we have a reason of why the Prozac isn't working how it should for you, because you don't actually have enough in your body for it to work. Of course, with higher doses, the chance of side effects increases too. There's also a chance of more serious issues like serotonin syndrome. This is where the brain gets too much serotonin, which can be dangerous and lead to symptoms like confusion, fever, or even seizures if it's not caught in time. If you or someone you know is considering this, it's essential to have a detailed chat with your psychiatric provider. This higher dose method isn't suitable for everyone and it comes with certain risks and rewards. What might be helpful to consider is pharmacogenetic testing. This is where your genes are looked at to see how much or how little you metabolize of certain enzymes like the ones we discussed earlier. This will give you an idea of what correct dosing would look like even before you start a certain medication. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this video next on Trintelix versus Prozac, the newer antidepressant with a new mechanism versus the time-tested Prozac. I'll see you over there.